my name is Steve Hayes and I'm at the EPRA annual conference at the Landmark Hotel in London. I'm joined here by Francis Salway, who's the Chief Executive for Land Securities, uh, Britain's largest listed property company. Francis, uh, how do you see the picture for the UK real estate uh, market in the next 12 months? We've had a period where there was very strong buying interest, limited selling. We expect to find more buying opportunities ourselves as that balances out. And on the rental side, it's down to trends in vacancy rates. And certainly on the better quality property assets, as in our portfolio, we've seen consistent reduction in vacancy levels over the last 12 months. Okay, drilling down a little um, into the retail and the office sectors, how do you see the outlook for those over the next year? Well, our business overall is over 60% in Greater London, and that's a combination of offices in, in central London, which is a bit over 40%, and then retail in central London and Greater London. And we all read about the strength not only of London offices, but also London retail. Uh, as we move outside London, uh, the outlook for retail gets more patchy, there's a lot of change going through, but in a number of our shopping centres we've now got vacancy levels down to the sort of uh, point from which you would normally expect to see rental growth beginning to emerge. Um, looking at the listed sector generally, um, how do you see the listed property companies doing over the next year? Well, I think there will continue to be a degree of volatility. People are unsure, slightly risk averse. Our job is to deliver on the ground to make sure that operationally we are being effective, we're getting lettings on our development projects and we're reducing vacancy rates on our investment portfolios. If we do that, that will create the environment of confidence for prospective shareholders. Talking about the development projects and, uh, and the ground, um, you had a very big, you've got a very big portfolio in the city. Uh, are you as optimistic now as you were a year ago about being able to deliver your business objectives for those development projects? One point of clarification, yes. uh, the bulk of our exposure to offices in London is actually in the West End rather than the city. Okay. We have some exposure in the city office market and the background for London offices is in 2010 take up of space was much better than expected, 30% above the long term average. First half of this year we would agree take up has been no better than satisfactory. Interestingly within the last couple of months we've seen a number of corporates recognising that if they look forward one or two years there really will be very little new space available and they're beginning to uh, really work through their requirements. There will be a real shortage of new space in London from mid-2012. And what are the other main challenges facing land securities over the next 12 months? I think it's all about occupancy. The core skill of a property company is to get lettings, hopefully to get a disproportionate share of lettings. So how we do on maintaining occupancy on our, our investment portfolio, getting lettings on our developments, that's what it's all going to be about. But certainly in the first half of this year, we've had a lot of success in that area with pre-lettings on retail development projects and falling vacancy rates across both our retail and London office assets. Francis, thank you very much. For this and other interviews, please go to epra.com and reap.com.